All right, we are in Elk City, Oklahoma. We are at the National Route 66 Museum. So we're going to go through this thing. It is supposed to be about a city block. It's huge inside and out. See back here, we've got this giant Route 66 sign back here behind us. All of this all around us. So let's go in here and check this place out. Hey, take it. I actually have three. I went from 310 to Yuma. Got one here I had to take to the Yuma prison. Let's see that right up here. Welcome to Dodge City, Kansas. We were here two years ago and went to the Boot Hill Museum, did the Wyatt Earp thing, went to the dinner show and theater, and somebody decided we had to come back. She enjoyed it so much because she got all the bullet blanks and were made into a thingamabobber uh, picture frame. And then this one was buckshot. So we're gonna go do it all over again.
Now, most people nowadays, especially in this community, you know, they carry firearms, protection and everything. But look at this. Could you imagine carrying that gun? That's water. And that's the style of the gun he carried. Huge. I think it was like 12 inch barrel. I mean, could you imagine pulling a ruler out of your holster just to be able to shoot it? He was the man. How did I get in here? Get yourself in a little pickle. a little bit we've had our sarsaparilla now we are having weird bunny ears popping over in front of me and on my back and everything these kids I swear what do you do but now they're doing me like this after they asked for ice cream and I didn't really argue it I just brought them over here to the ice cream parlor and now we have ice cream coming out and you know cups of ice cream banana splits I got a hot fudge sundae a double because you know, I can. So we're we're gonna have our ice cream. We're gonna check out some more of the museum again. We're gonna go to the shootout. Then we're gonna go to the variety show. Have some dinner and watch a show. And if you don't understand the buckshot thing, I'm gonna put a link up here to the other video. Check it out. So how was your ice cream, sir? Good. With my long spoon. What do we have? Banana split. I think. This is banana split, right? I got a banana split. You want some? Uh, you can eat it. They want some? I don't know, you have to ask them. Do they want some? You want some? I don't care, you can have some. Here you go. Can you believe she's teasing you guys like that? I wouldn't put up with it. Guys, look at this spoon. Look how tiny! Yeah, buddy. Amazing. Amazing. Leave it to Kylie to show off and just show up her brother. He tried to push me. I know he did. What happened? I tried to keep it closed. He tried to keep the door closed to keep me out. And this is what happened when I pushed the door open. Yeah. Could you imagine only having a weekly bath just on Saturday nights? Because Sunday, Sunday go to meeting. Dodge City Jail. I wonder if there's any prisoners in here. Let's find out. Hey, you! Let me out! 
Yeah. How did you get into jail? Stole a horse. You know what happens? The horse thieves around here. What do you want? What did you do? I robbed a bank. I need the extra money. You got caught in that bank robbery, didn't you? That's why I got out. That's why I got away. You came in to rob that bank, and I ran away. He helped me. You know where the money's at? Yeah. They did not hold in that jail cell over there. Not all of it, partner. Enjoy the gallows. And I wrote. Let me out of you. And what can be this? Give me this. Give me it. Do you have personal hey, blog hey, now? Fuck shot. What you doing, Buckshot? You want to record me? I'll record you. You went out now? Will he take the 310 to Yuma? Yep. How you plan to get him out? I'm gonna break him out. What? Rough and rowdy Texas Cowboys and Dodge City Lawmen sworn to keep the peace in town. The firearms used in the gunfights are real and loaded with blades, but can still be dangerous. Dodge City is the queen of the countdowns. Every summer, thousands of longhorns are driven to the railhead by hundreds of cowboys. Most of these cowboys are young, hard-working men, working in honest but tough profession. There are, however, others that don't overlook so well. Some that prey on these hard-working men and their herds. Cattle rustlers. There have been a wave of stolen cattle in the area recently. Local law enforcement have been working hard, even hiring a top-notch brand inspector to bring these cattle thieves to justice. <coughs> Yeah, you see, the last marshal got shot and killed, and we're tired of replacing windows and ducking okay. behind safes when you boys get all fired up and start shooting. Well, none of that was us. Uh, yeah, but if I take your guns away, it can't be you. <laughs> now, Marshall, we've been on trail a long time. Uh huh. I've been dealing with, you know, snakes, mormons, coyotes, wolves, rustlers, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. yeah, we don't have any of that in town, so you won't need a gun for that. You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> Just you guys got guns, nobody else, huh? That's how it works, yeah. So if you're going to spend any time in town, you'll surrender your firearms to me. If you refuse, I will take them from you and put you in jail and fine you $100. Well, we, have, we don't want to cause any trouble. We're just we're just here to kill some time before we uh, sell our herd in the morning. Sounds like a plan. Place your guns on the well behind me. And don't cause any trouble while you're in town. Is everybody going to watch it? Miss a lot of money. My will take care of it. Don't worry. That one? That's the one. We've never lost a Texas gun. I'm getting tired of standing here. Check your guns and leave. Alright boys, let's go. I'm just worried if his mama knows he's out here or not. That'd be fine. He's looking a little young these days. I'll worry about the deputy. You 
you worry about taking the guns off. If you got any knives, check those too. But like I said, don't find any trouble while you're in town. The jail is full and I'd have to shoot you. We don't want that. We don't want to cause no trouble. No trouble. Look at us in front of me. No trouble. No trouble, boys. Speaking of trouble, yeah, uh, what's trouble now? We got any uh, problems with any cattle rustlers on your way out? Any cattle rustlers? Yeah. Yeah, you know, we ran into a few of them. Yeah, we've had a lot of reports of uh, lots of cattle rustlers running around. Yeah, we uh, we ran across a few of them. That's why we carry so many guns, just in case you never know what's happening. Yeah, you can't be too careful out of the state. That's right. Uh, well, uh, just because we've had so many people stealing cattle and so many reports of them, We've got a brand inspector. Brand inspector? Yeah, so he's down at the stockyards, and when you get ready to sell your cattle, put them into the yard, you need to show the paperwork to show you own the cattle with that brand on it. Well, I tell you, we own all our cattle. Well, I believe you, I do. But you're going to have to prove it to the brand inspector. I mean, I just, that's a waste of his time. I don't want to waste his time. That's what he gets paid for. Okay. He's sitting out there anyway, so you might as well. He's going to sit on the fence and you got to go by and make sure they all have the right brand on it. He'll be there first thing at the AM. Yeah, well, he can't out there. So he'll be fine. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'll meet him out there in the morning. I just don't want to waste his time. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate your concern. I'll pass him along. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, then. Just keep your eye on those guys. I'm going to go get a box to put them in. Come on. Back to the yard. Everybody follow me. What's going on over here? You need to use your guys. Come on. I'm a sick old guy. 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 i am a sick old guy 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 i am a what the cattle was source he keeps talking about? Yeah. <laughs> we left Texas with 63 and we got up here with about 1,300. I can't count that high balls. Didn't, we didn't borrow them. We did? No, we're not taking them back. What did you think we were doing half the time? We were getting out and we were seeing the brand. We got running brand. I don't know. What are we going to do? Well, uh, we can't let them check our herd in the morning. I mean, uh, sounds like we need our guns back. Yeah, yeah. What you're doing? They only got that one small fella over there. Oh, you. So, I think I can do something with him. Yeah, you can I'd come, up, I'd come up with something. So you take them. Slip them outside for a minute. Come out. Okay. Go up, folks. If you guys there, we'll be here. We'll teach that Marshall lesson. Go, go that way. Hey there, excuse me there, Dixie. Uh, yeah. I was just wondering if I could get a good place to get some new boots. New boots? Yeah, you can see this one will beat up a little bit. Hey, I'll get it. Hold it right there. Hold it. 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 Hold Obviously something's wrong if they're after you about things. All right, drop it. Oh, oh, right there. There. Put it up right there. Put huh? your gun in the dirt, boy. I think, uh, I think we got you right where we want you. I think you're going to lose this battle. Your cattle are stolen, huh? Most of them. But I figured. Uh, oh, boy. Put your guns down. No, I think you're going to put your guns down, and we're not going to have this whole brand inspection thing. Well, that's not how it works. You're going to go to jail. You're probably going to hang. No. Well, I 
back and kill you. I'm not a fan of either one of them. Put your guns down. I promise you this isn't going to end well. I don't think we're this fight. Sell nine. Well, they're printed upside down. Printed upside down. <laughs> Turn them over. Well, you see, I tried that, but they're blank on the other side. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. We usually sell them for $14, but since they're upside down, we'll sell them tonight for just $1. One dollar. One dollar. That'll work. Like, We're going to lose Just one dollar a piece. We'll autograph with no extra charge. All the proceeds go to the gunfights. We appreciate your support. I do. All right, the shootout is over. We are going into the Long Branch Variety Show. Dinner show. It's grub and it's belly. We are Miss Kitty's dancers. We welcome you tonight. Mr. Beast will lead the way and Miss Kitty will do it right. So get yourself ready. It's that time you know. Clap your hands and stomp your feet for the Long Branch Variety Show. <laughs> in Sykeson, Missouri at the original Lambert's Cafe, home of the Throat Rolls, and going to meet family. The kids are going to get to hang out with their other set of grandparents we've come across. So everybody's enjoying and ready to go. So let's go check it out. Thank you. 